get. Hey, Joey, do you have a minute to catch up? Sure, Dad. I feel like we haven't had a chance to touch base in a while. How you doing? How is school going? School is okay. It's almost over, so I'm looking forward to being done with it. I can't believe you've grown up so fast. I have one proud papa. Thanks, Dad. I'm still trying to sort out my plans for after graduation. I don't know what career field to go into. Nothing really stands out to me. I'm not even sure if I can get in a good college or hold down a job. This is just weighing me down. Don't let that get you down. Loosen up. I'm sure you'll work something out. What do you like to do in your free time? Maybe that will help you focus on some ideas. You know I love gaming. If I could game all day, I would just do that. Well, why don't you look into gaming? You can turn your hobby into a career. You could create video games. You could come up with ideas, design graphics, write codes. I'm sure there are options. Do you really think I could do that? Of course. You're creative. I'm sure there are options. Do you really think I could do that? Of course, you're creative. Guys, good afternoon. Okay, so you know what is the problem in Colombia when every time is putting down like right away? Okay, like 15 minutes ago near my house is actually putting down and everything is just, you know, like internet. I don't know why, okay, but it's not working at all, especially when this kind of thing happens. All right, guys, I'm going to tell you welcome to all of you in the meantime uh we can just get back to this video all right i'm just gonna let you know several things okay number one guys okay finally i was checking out okay the results of the quiz and everything you know and and that that's good very good okay for some of you very proud high scores okay obviously uh there will be one or some cases uh, actually where you if you want of course because it's just up to you that if you say teacher you know i'm not so in agreement with my grade so on a little bit you know i think i can do it better and if you want to take it over do it over i mean take the exam again okay you can do it you know that i never uh limit you okay at the time of getting a good grade okay so if you think you can do it better okay you can do it better now uh when we are in the middle of the class i'm gonna send you your grades okay i'm gonna use your emails or part of your emails okay so you can identify what your grade is all right guys welcome today we have several activities but first of all i would like to start warming up a little bit with a very good material okay that i found okay and it's a very good topic you know uh so i think we can start with that in a minute remember i don't know if kevin kevin my friend i have been very concerned about you because i think you haven't taken uh the final uh did you finally uh do it hey hello teacher yes i, I did it like one day later because 
Uh, sorry for not attending to the class, but I wasn't even in the city, so uh, okay, sorry for worry. that. Very good, Kevin. And what was your impression with the quiz? Very easy. That was like to shoot a fish into a barrel. The first part was uh, like a medium level. It was um, um, like hard, but but, <laughs> but balanced. All the second right. part, I totally got lost. <laughs> All right. It went so, downhill. Yeah, because maybe today we are going to open it very quickly. And to get that, okay, we are going to try to infer and check out why maybe we got a good grade, you know, or maybe why I didn't so good. And you're going to finally know the reason why that happened. All right. So that's going to happen uh, today. Okay. But that's very, very good. So if you are one of those guys who haven't taken the exam yet, let me tell you something. Okay. It's about the time. Okay, so the idea is today I'm gonna start very quickly, okay, uh, checking out the exam. Um, so the idea is, uh, guys, try to do it as quick as you can, okay? If you're gonna take the exam, please um, <clears throat> uh, let me know because you gotta take it right now. What is the idea, guys, that we are gonna be uh, working today, okay? I'm gonna open up, okay, this. And the idea is we are going to talk about uh, diversity, okay? That is something that nowadays is very in fashion, you know? And that is the idea how we uh, can deal with everybody, even when people uh, don't share, okay, the same thoughts or, or tendencies that maybe we've got, okay? Because this word is... It's a word for everybody. So the idea is how we can deal with these situations, okay? Especially not a day. That is something that is very important because that, you know, environment inside classes, uh, workspace, uh, things like that uh, comes to be very important for people, you know? That is why uh, I'm going to let you listen to this. And after, we're going to answer some questions and then... We are going to go on with our phrasals that we learn. I mean, phrasal, no, we have been talking about some idioms, okay? When everything uh, go wrong, and I'm going to go exactly on that direction. Guys, pay attention, concentrate it, and listen. Maybe if we can play it, because this is crazy, especially when I'm using, okay, my, uh, let me, I'm going to try to open it just right here, because it's hard especially when I have my meat, okay, because for one reason, I don't know why, okay, it doesn't let me, okay, I just um, uh, play it, okay, but let me see what can I do. In the meantime, I fix up the problem, guys. Let's start in fully with our presentation, okay, and that presentation, guys, was about when things or when, uh, yeah, go wrong. So I'm going to start very quickly with that. And we are going to remember this part, guys, luckily you, okay, was not included in the exam. I didn't include uh, these idioms, okay, because, you know, we have been, uh, we started uh, working with this. So the idea is uh, I decide not to do it not so far, and this way give you the chance, the opportunity, okay, just uh, to do it now. Okay, let me see if maybe I can get it here. Maybe I can get it here. Diversity. All right, guys. So we have the listening part finally. All right. It's not As about... You know, our team has grown a lot in the past year. Give me a second. I'm going to show you the picture because a good picture all time will be a good reference, okay, every time that we have uh, this, okay? So the idea is we are going to be talking about a team... Uh, a team meeting about diversity, okay? So the idea is we are going to listen carefully uh, some material and then teacher is going to let you appreciate some uh, worksheet or answer sheet where you're going to prove that uh, you got the idea fully, all right? So let's start listening this part, guys, concentrated. And we are going to, let me, I'm going to, do it like this. Listen up. And we feel we need to address the diversity in the team. How do you mean address the diversity? Well, we all know that diversity in teams is a good thing, but it can also be a challenge for some people to respect and value people's differences. We've got a really diverse team here. People of different nationalities, backgrounds, religions, ages. 
then sometimes I don't feel we make the most of this. Yes, and even if it isn't specifically challenging, many people are simply unaware of the isolation that some team members may feel because they are different. So what does this mean? What are we going to do? Well, we need to create a workplace charter. You know, one that promotes equality, diversity and inclusion. That sounds like a good idea, but will people just see it as something the management team has created? Maybe they won't even pay attention to it. I know. That's why we're going to involve everyone in creating it. That's a good idea. We could run some workshops and get ideas from the employees about how we can create a more inclusive workplace. Exactly. I was thinking that before that, we could run some team building sessions so they can experience the value of diversity for themselves. Yes, I like that. Many people see diversity as something negative, often because there are different opinions or ways of doing things. Yes, I know. But if there's no diversity, then the risk is that we all work in the same way, think the same and see the world the same. This makes it hard to be creative and to innovate. I completely agree, Nina. Okay, so what do you want us to do? Stefano, can you look for a successful trainer who specializes in running workshops and team building sessions on diversity and inclusion? Sure, I'd be happy to. And Brenda, can you find a fun venue? Somewhere that's quite diverse itself. Something that's not the usual seminar-style environment. Sure, that'll be fun. And I'm going to do some further research into how other organizations are benefiting from their diversity. I can share this with the whole team. All right, guys, as you can see, now we have just started seeing new students in the class. So that is why I'm going to repeat this very short listening part. Remember, concentrated. The idea is... This is a conversation among a group of guys and they are discussing why it's so important for them that diversity, especially in your work uh, place, okay, or in all the environment that you share uh, with people. So I'm going to play once again, concentrated and be ready because as I mentioned, I'm going to just make you some questions about this. As you know, our team has grown a lot in the past year and we feel we need to address the diversity in the team. How do you mean, address the diversity? Well, we all know that diversity in teams is a good thing, but it can also be a challenge for some people to respect and value people's differences. We've got a really diverse team here. People of different nationalities, backgrounds, religions, ages. And sometimes I don't feel we make the most of this. Yes, and even if it isn't specifically challenging, many people are simply unaware of the isolation that some team members may feel because they are different. So what does this mean? What are we going to do? Well, we need to create a workplace charter, you know, one that promotes equality, diversity and inclusion. That sounds like a good idea, but will people just see it as something the management team has created? Maybe they won't even pay attention to it. I know. That's why we're going to involve everyone in creating it. That's a good idea. We could run some workshops and get ideas from the employees about how we can create a more inclusive workplace. Exactly. I was thinking that before that, we could run some team building sessions so they can experience the value of diversity for themselves. Yes, I like that. Many people see diversity as something negative, often because there are different opinions or ways of doing things. Yes, I know. But if there's no diversity, then the risk is that we all work in the same way, think the same and see the world the same. This makes it hard to be creative and to innovate. I completely agree, Nina. Okay, so what do you want us to do? Stefano, can you look for a successful trainer who specializes in running workshops and team building sessions on diversity and inclusion? Sure, I'd be happy to. And Brenda, can you find a fun venue? 
somewhere that is quite diverse itself. Something that's not the usual seminar-style environment. Sure, that'll be fun. And I'm going to do some further research into how other organizations are benefiting from their diversity. I can share this with the whole team. Okay, guys, so as you are here now, okay, uh, this information very important. I like a, a lot of this uh, topic, guys, is because this is not new. Uh, in all world's history, uh, diversity, especially in thoughts, okay, have been quite an important issue. You know, for example, when we talk about that dark uh, age where a uh, church control all people's mind, you know, do you remember, okay, that period of time? You know, and that was just because some people start using the brains to think uh, differently. Okay, just the Inquisition, okay, didn't let people just follow their own thoughts, okay? They only want people thought in the way as uh, they need because that was convenient, you know? That was like a kind of repression and control. And many, many people die. Okay, uh, because they were born, you know, in fire places, okay, just because they believe uh, differently. That is very sad, you know, because th there were many people, guys, that actually when they start giving incredible ideas uh, to the world, they uh, just got killed. Okay, so that is very sad. And that is especially diversity because it's, we can understand that you are different from me. Okay, that you are not me. And maybe we can even live and coexist, you know, together. It doesn't matter if our thoughts maybe are different. It's just respect. Okay, maybe if your point of view is this, this is mine. Okay, I respect yours. Okay, but I think maybe differently. Okay, that is something very important. And it's been one of the main issues in our world history. Valerie. Go ahead, Valerie, make it. Teacher, uh, I wanna tell you that the last, the last class, I didn't, oh, I can't do the Kahoot, so I, I have that bad grade, and, and the other exam, I wanna repeat it too. Very good, okay? So I'm going to talk to you about that, okay, on, on the chat. Uh, I'm going to send you the link so you can uh, take it and you're going to uh, send me back, okay, the grade that you get there. That is one of the things that possibly we can do uh, today, okay? So let's try to do it uh, that way, okay? And obviously, as you know, Valerie, I'm going to let you take the exam again if you feel, okay, that maybe this time you can do it uh, better because that is the idea okay don't worry that is a fact okay very good guys so talking about diversity right now on our uh, whatsapp group teacher just sent all right all these copies so you can open it teacher what copy i mean i'm talking about this one okay so this copy that is a uh, the exercise related okay to the listening part is something that right now i send you Anyhow, I'm going to show it in the meantime, together we can get a solution, okay, just to see if maybe, guys, you got the idea. Okay, let's see how clear, okay, was this, and let's start uh, doing it together, okay? So, what is the idea? Uh, the idea is listen to a team meeting, I mean, the listening that we just uh, listen, no, uh, short in short, you know, but we are going to just talk about this diversity, Okay, and practice and improve, obviously, this way, our listening skill. And he said just right here on this uh, paper. Okay, so what we got to do, we are going to listen. But before that, we are going to just play with some definition. And that is good because it's, uh, it's going to give you, like, some context, you know. So I'm going to just show you, again, okay, the group of word. And the idea, guys, is if you know, you're going to give me, okay, the chances. All right, so I'm going to just ask, okay, for number one, and you're going to try to tell me what is the match or the perfect match for you, all right? So let's see uh, this together. If you pay attention, we have the number one, the charter. 
Okay, that is good. Charter. What do you think is charter? Guys, I'm going to give you just a minute. You to scan. You to scan very quickly all the vocabulary and teacher is going to ask you in, uh, in short. Okay, guys, so please start looking at it. Start looking at, okay, charter. You know, this is a very good one. All right. Let's see. I'm going to start asking to my first, okay? We are going to try to do it. Miguel, 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 my friend. Miguel, look at the word charter. Teacher, it's a new word. I don't know if maybe you have seen this word before. If it's new, okay, the idea is we are going to try just to get like a definition, okay, among the ones that are shown there, okay? So, for example, charter. What do you think, Miguel, okay, is the relationship? Charter, what do you think is a good, good definition uh, for this uh, one? Look at it. What do you think, Miguel? Uh, I think that is a charter i love this vocabulary even now being in advanced group look we are learning new things all the time and that is something that we keep doing together all right so a charter All right, I'm gonna need somebody else here, okay? My friend Laura. Yeah, think, uh, is she? Is, all right, you said a document that describes the belief of a group. So when a group of people mean they've got a meeting because they are gonna uh, propose or they are gonna, you know, do something new, actually what they do is they write an official document. And that official document contains what everybody think, you know, and they sign it. And that document is approved about what all the group decide. And that is what they um, are brought up together, you know. So it's a charter. Um, sometimes in Spanish, you know, um, uh, that is said in many different uh, ways. Uh, for example, uh, we can say in Spanish a word like estatutos. You know, it's something that is officially written down and we have just to go because that was the group's decision. Okay, so we are going to, when we sign the document, we say, yeah, we are in agreement with this. Okay, very good, my friend. So a charter is a document that describes the belief of a group. So, for example, what is a charter? Uh, maybe when we talk about our constitution. Okay, Colombian constitution. When we talk about government official things, okay, so it's exactly when we talk about charter because what is there written down is what everybody in Colombia, okay, agree. Okay, so that document is a document for everybody. Okay, very good. So next one, guys, let's make the next question. Let's see who's going to give us, okay, the answer right now. Two, we are gonna ask, oh, please, guys. This is extremely easy, it's evidently too much easy, all right. But anyhow, we are gonna ask it, all right. Uh, I'm gonna ask this one to my friend Kevin Robbie. Kevin, obviously, uh, promote, uh, obviously, um, is a change idea. When you promote, is when you support, when you, you promote, is when. Uh, you intend people do things when you promote is when uh, maybe uh, you're going to have um, a new employee in a very different position, maybe inside the business or the enterprise. Okay, so when we talk about promote, that word means several things and it depends um, how you decide to apply it. But basically right now, looking all these ones definition, Kevin, uh, which one uh, do you think? is a good one, okay, to uh, promote. Look at I them. I think it's deep. Is deep. something to happen. 
something to happen. And that is right. For example, if you are um, a sportive guy and you are being interviewed and maybe the reporter is talking to you about your experiences as a and a sportive man, okay? So maybe you're gonna say, yes, my father promote all those ideas in me. You know, all the time he support me and he was there in all the process, okay? So promote is when you help something happen. When you promote that your children speak uh, different language, especially as your parents. So when, when you promote, okay, as some tendency uh talking about uh, ideas guys because that is very important nowadays that is what control our society okay very good excellent my friend that is very very good so we are gonna make now okay the next question okay let's make it very easy this is very good one because it's actually what happened to people who think differently from the group that is something terrible, okay? Very, very terrible. And it's because uh, they suffer from isolation, you know? I love this word, and this is a good one that I'm going to ask to my friend, Juan Esteban Maldonado. Juan Esteban, what about the word isolation, and what do you think about uh, its definition, man? Go ahead. Juan Esteban, around, buddy. I'm waiting for you, my friend. Okay, what do you think is a good definition for number three? I mean, isolation. I like it because uh, there is a, a very is isolate. Okay, isolate is the verb, but isolation is the noun. Okay, when we say isolation, we are not talking about a verb. Actually, we are talking about an idea. Okay, Juan Esteban, waiting for you, my friend. What do you think about number three, Juan Esteban? Or Valentina Piñero that I imagine is uh, connected uh, uh, to you or with you. Juan Esteban, got it, boy? Otherwise, I'm going to ask to my friend, Johan Manuel. Johan, how are you, my buddy? How's everything going, man? Being the best at school? Uh, hi, teacher, yes. Oh, yeah. That is actually what I want to just to hear, man, that you are the best. Not only in the English classes, but everywhere, man. That is a kind of natural attitude that you need. All right. Looking now, okay, this good vocabulary about diversity, uh, that is a quite very important topic nowadays. Uh, what do you think is a good definition, Johan, for isolation? Uh, B. Is B when you feel separate from others. And that is the problem in our society. If you think differently, that's going to be a problem. You're going to be expelled out of a group, okay? And you're going to be, like, alone, okay? When you start feeling uh, that uh, experience, experience is that feeling that nobody is with you, everybody at work decide not to talk to you, nobody invite you to parties, nobody invite you to meetings, and that is just because of your way of thinking, Maybe you think differently from people. For example, a very good topic that the other day I was talking in a class was about euthanasia. You know, euthanasia, okay, is, as you know, the process of decide the way as you can die. I mean, if you are suffering from a very terrible disease, and it's obviously that there's not any recovery in the short uh, or long term, what is the idea to go on suffering? I, 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 I imagine that got to be very hard, especially for people who suffer terrible, terrible diseases, you know? So the idea is uh, if maybe you think people can decide on their own lives, okay, maybe you're going to have a problem because, you know, our society is very religious. In Colombia, people are very Catholic and Catholic mentality, okay? So when we uh, just see this from the religious perspective, maybe you are going to have confrontations uh, to people just because your mentality. Hey, no, no, nobody can decide on their own lives. Nobody can uh, just think that abortion for example, is good. That is killing babies. Or, or if you decide, okay, how you're going to die, you are not respecting, okay, God's commands. You don't know what God's, okay, wants with all this that is happening to you. So maybe if you see, guys, okay, that perspective that you've got before, uh, 
topics so important in society right now, such as abortion or euthanasia, okay? So maybe you're going to be in isolation, okay? So people is going to take you or keep you, okay, far, just because maybe they think you are different. Different just because your way of uh, processing information, ideas, concepts, maybe are not theirs. Okay, and that is something hard, guys, because actually our society uh, works exactly uh, on that way. Okay, very good. Okay, guys, I'm just gonna show you another one. Diversity. That is the main huge word, okay, today. Diversity. Okay, very good. I'm gonna make this question, okay, to uh, my friend Juana. Welcome. Juana, tell me something. Uh, do you think that diversity actually is a very important topic in our society right now and that maybe deserve uh, a lot of our uh, uh, our attention yes teacher um i think it's very important because um actually um for example in my school uh sometimes we need to to think about that because you know our persons who who likes the same uh person how do you say las mismas personas del mismo sexo okay they lie or or, 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 or they i for example you say uh homosexual you know because that is actually what is called cool, okay it's people who likes people of their own gender their own sex Okay, I mean, you can see a guy, uh, I mean, a boy that likes another boy or a girl that maybe likes another girl, you know. And right now, today, that is actually a very important topic. Back in my time, that was terrible, okay. I mean, people used to be very cruel. And those uh, group of people, you know, were not accepted. For example, back in my time, forget it. Okay, nowadays, society... Okay, has a new perspective about that. And how can people could be included in groups and be finally accepted? It doesn't matter, okay, that they are different, not only talking about sexual issues, you know, but also about, you know, ideas. That is something very important, you know. But yeah, that, that is right, Juana. Juana, and tell me something. Uh, uh, What do you think about this uh, idea about diversity? What is your opinion about this? I think is is one of the best things that the human can have because if you are um in I include an inclusion person. Yeah. Um you can be more sociable and maybe you can have a better perspective of the life or about the society and that's correct one and it's amazing what you say because it's totally true if you are accepted in a group one yes that's right if you can interact with people you know easier no problems just because i think this way or just because sexually i behave this way okay so maybe you're gonna be a better person because you are not gonna suffer from repression you're not gonna suffer from isolation you're gonna suffer from that you're gonna be in, in the group okay and you're gonna feel a part of it it doesn't matter your tendencies you know and i think that's very important because many many people guys especially and it's, we, it's crazy but especially when we are in school and we are kids is where guys suffer the most because sometimes kids maybe they don't want to be that way but they are very cruel okay to other kids you know just because of the way as they behave talk or think you know and sometimes it's weird because hey children yes okay and it's exactly where our problems start because we are not accepted in the group It's because at school, okay, everybody criticizes us all the time. You know, I am the target. Everybody is on me. And that is very, very good. Okay. Uh, Juana, tell me something. Now that you are looking at all these definitions, what do you think about is a good one for diversity? Which one? 
A teacher. Is A. When different people, things, or ideas are included. And I love it. That is the universal thought. Okay? Universal state of mind. Is when we think collectively. When we don't think about what is important for me, or what is my personal perspective about something, but is when I try to think what is not only convenient for me, but also for everybody. And this way, we can be together okay that is very important okay and uh, next one is guys we are gonna make the next one and teacher is gonna make it okay very good so next one is to pay attention to gosh i can believe that these questions are your right here but they are okay so anyhow i'm gonna ask valerie gutierrez valerie tell me if i tell you valerie what is a good definition okay when you say to pay attention to What is a good one for you, Valerie? What is a good definition? And now that Juana mentioned that this is the perfect example because we need to pay attention to this issue closely and pay careful, careful attention to the problem because this, this, if we can change, okay, this point in our society, okay, a collective way of thinking, Okay, that is going to be good because it's going to promote socialization. It's going to promote that people can be accepted uh, quicker, easier, you know, and faster. And that is why we need to change our mentality. Now the world is totally different. All this communication, internet, all this is a revolution and change dramatically the way as people think. All right, because now we don't think as Colombian. Now we don't think like Americans or we don't think as French or German. No, now we think like, okay, um, in a globalization world, exactly in the one that we live. That is why this is so important. And that is uh, the, uh, diversity. I love diversity because when we talk about communication, communication and diversity, wow, okay, they open. That was like a force, you know, that now led us to exchange, okay, different thoughts, not only inside our society, guys, but now we can understand uh, how Chinese people think, okay, or right now we can understand much better certain cultures, Okay, for example, Muslim, you know, they, they those cultures are totally different from ours, but even then to technology and communication and this revolution on media, okay, now, okay, we can um, um, uh, promote diversity, promote equality. Okay, very good. But I'm not going to ask equality. Valerie, are you around yet? Are you around yet? Oh, yeah, tell me something. What is a good definition to pay attention to? To think carefully about. Yeah, is to think carefully about. Okay, I'm gonna ask you something, um, Valerie. What is your opinion about diversity? I mean, you are a sociable person. You socialize uh, in your school. Uh, even with people that think or behave differently, uh, differently from you? Yes, teacher, because we all are different and we should or we have to respect other people's things or ideas. And you know what? Even when we talk about God, even when we talk about God and we just uh, read the Bible, okay? And you see, for example, Jesus' life. You know, you can see that even Jesus forgave everybody's sins, you know? And he would say, no, you are a, a burglar. So you're not going to be in heaven with God. No. So when, when Jesus came, one of the biggest lessons in Christianism, something that actually Jesus actually I had a very incredible impact on, it was about diversity. Teacher, yes, diversity. Because, hey, God accepted everybody and there was only one condition. 
okay, to be accepted by God and go and be with him in heaven. And the only thing was what? Okay, what? Regretness. If you regret, if you accept that you commit a mistake, okay, before God's eyes, okay, you're going to be forgiven. You're going to be forgiven. That was all. And what is that? Is to accept diversity. Is to accept that no everybody is perfect. And even when we read the Bible, we can see that thing. Okay, Jesus accept everybody. The only thing is just regret about your sins. Be a better person. Be a good Christian. Be for God's sake. That's all you need to do. And, and if you see, that is a very good example. It's diversity. It's, I can forgive everybody. I can accept everybody in uh, God's uh, word, you know, just if they uh, regret. That's all. That is diversity. I'm not going to accept only this group of people, but I'm not going to accept this because, no, 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 it's everybody. Okay? It's how we can promote that kind of uh, thoughts. Okay, it doesn't matter. Okay, very good. So think carefully about that. I love um, this because believe me, society changed our mind. When I was a kid, I, I, I thought differently. Okay, so if maybe we uh, see a guy that like another voice, you know, everybody tease him all the time, was teasing him, teasing him, bothering him, saying rude words, you know, you pussy, you, and, 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 and that was no good. I imagine, okay, what happened in that boy's mind, you know, when he felt, okay, the rejection of the group, when he felt being isolated from the group, okay, when nobody paid attention, you know, so it's isolation. Uh, it's, it's terrible. I think now nobody is going to judge you. I, I mean, no group body, because right now, even that has legal consequences. If you are, for example, working in a place and maybe you are rejected or you are isolated just because your uh, sexual tendencies, okay, that is something that has legal consequences. And it's so important because finally um, uh, the world finally understood. You are different, I'm different, but hey, we are living in this world together. There's nothing else we can do. Just accept one another. Okay, very good. Equality. I love because when we are equal is when we have exactly the same rights. You are no more than me, and obviously I'm not more than you, okay? So we can uh, just participate exactly with the same conditions, okay? And that is why uh, we are uh, thinking, I'm going to ask uh, something, and this is a very good question. Laura, how are you? I have been very good. Thanks for asking <laughs> Excellent. Laura, tell me something and, and, and be honest. Don't worry because I'm not going to judge anybody in this class. Remember, okay, we need to accept everything, but I'm going to uh, make you a personal question. What is your opinion, personal opinion, about uh, that maybe two men can grow a baby? Do you think that is something that maybe you could support? Uh, I, I support it. I, I, I don't know how to say that. <laughs> uh, that is maybe personal, but my best friend, <laughs> he's uh, gay, he's homosexual. So yeah. I support him a lot. I love him a lot. And I respect a lot the people that uh, are part uh, of this community. Very good. I love it, Laura. And that is very important. I mean, and I like you tell me that, okay? That that says a lot about you, okay? It's just, I'm, I'm not anyone, okay, who criticizes others. You know why? Because I recognize myself as an imperfect person. I'm not perfect, okay? So if I understand that I'm not perfect, if I understand that I've got witnesses, you know, why, how, 
I'm gonna <laughs> criticize others. It, it, that, that's crazy, guys. That is why it said, if you're gonna criticize others, if you're gonna see others' people life, see first yours. And if you consider your life is so perfect that you are a good example for others, maybe. And even you know that if you are very intelligent and you have a very perfect behavior, perfect way of thinking, you are the best person in the community, you can criticize anyone because the best understand the others. And they are never, ever trying to create problems, but solution. And one good solution uh, to this is how I can promote, how I can pay attention to these kind of things. Excellent, guys. I like it. Very good. Equality. Laura, and if you think equality, what can you tell me about uh, this one? What do you think? About e what? Equality. What is a good definition, Laura, for equality? Now, the one that you can see listed on the screen. For example, equality. What yes. are you Is E, when everyone has the same rights or advantages. And that is totally right. Okay, very, very good. For example, there is a problem that nowadays, um, uh, how to say, like a hot potato. And is why women can can earn exactly the same salaries in very high positions. Why? And nowadays is not a secret, okay, that many, many companies only, only hire men for the most important positions. And even when there are women that they have the same position, they are not exactly a paid like men. And that is something that, you know, uh, um, open or open up like a, a, a grudge, you know, it's like, it's like a cracking in people's mentality. Why? What is the problem? I'm a woman. Why I can't? It's exactly the same that that guy, just because I'm a woman. And that is the problem because we need to understand diversity. Even, I don't know why people think that just because you're a man, okay, you are like, like this. These are women and these are men. That, 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 that's not right. Maybe in the way as society um, behave in the past, that, that is something. We are in a constant evolution. So that is why nowadays our mentality got to be totally different. Okay, diversity is everywhere. I am not perfect. That is why I'm not going to criticize anybody else, you know. And right now, I understand that everybody has exactly the same rights. It doesn't matter uh, the sex tendencies. Uh, it doesn't matter the gender. It doesn't matter anything. It is just equality, okay? It's something that actually we need to pay attention a lot and start promoting, okay? Very good. A venue. I love this one, okay? Okay, today you're going to learn new vocabulary, guys. So next one is very good venue. Very good. That's right. I'm going to ask this time to my friend Juan Esteban. Are you back, man, around maybe? Yeah, because now I ask you a one, okay, but you didn't say anything. So I thought maybe you were off, okay? But right now, are you around, Juan Esteban? If you are around, let me know, okay? Because I need to make you uh, probably some questions about this, okay? Good. I'm going to go back to you, my friend, Kevin Roby. Kevin, uh, when we talk about a venue, what is a venue for you? Now it's easier because there are many options already chosen. So that means that now we have uh, a few ones left, okay? So what do you think is a good definition for a venue? Uh, mm, <laughs> uh, like G uh, to what? think carefully about G uh, to, to think carefully about I don't think mm. so it's a venue because you say teacher a venue is just to think carefully about I'm gonna say Robin what no, really, it's not possible. Okay, because that is not the definition, but I'm going to tell you, okay, what, which one is the definition? When we talk about a venue, okay, it's exactly um, uh, the place where something happened, you know? 
For example, if we are going to have a meeting and you decide that it's a good idea that, that we can have the meeting in your house, okay, so uh, your house is going to be like a venue, okay? So a venue is where the meeting will be uh, um, or, or, or will take place. That is a venue. So if I tell you this now that you can see listed all the definition, which one could you think that may be now fulfilled, okay, with a good um, uh, idea about the word? Obviously, it's not going to be G. What do you think maybe is now, Kevin? Okay, so now is like H. H. A place where an event happens. That's right. So if maybe someone say, hey, let's have a party, and you say, hey, don't worry. My house, my house will be a venue for the party. So a venue, I mean, is, is the location. Look at this, a new word, okay, a new word. Guys, obviously, I'm not going to ask the next one is inclusion. I love it, okay? When you include, you let people take part of uh, something. Uh, maybe if I have a political party, for example, I'm liberal or conservador, you know? So, uh, um It doesn't matter that maybe you belong to the other political party. I'm going to let you uh, participate in mine. Okay, so now I'm going to include you. Okay, inclusion is very important, guys. It's, it's, it's a way of to accept, acceptance. That is a good word, acceptance. Okay, uh, about people, about situations, very important. Okay, very good. Guys, uh, this is something that uh, we are going to, are true or false, okay? So if you were ready and very concentrated, okay, this is not going to be so hard, okay? So we are going to say uh, true or we are going to say uh, false. <clears throat> the thing has grown and become more diverse in the past year, okay? That is a very good one, okay? Uh, guys, I'm going to ask you, about uh, this one. I need a volunteer, but even I'm going to ask, okay, to you, all right? For example, I'm going to start asking to my friend, Juana, what about for you, uh, who maybe pay attention to the listening part, okay? This is true or is false? The team has grown and become more uh, diverse in the past year. Um, to me, it's true, teacher. That is totally right. And if you say teacher is true, believe me, that is true. Okay, excellent. Of course, it's true. Okay, I'm going to just go over the second one. Uh, everyone in the team respect and values everyone else. All right, that question is for uh, Johan Manuel. Johan, tell me, uh, the second one for you is... True or that one is a false, my friend? Teacher, I have fish memory. I don't remember the, the listening. Okay, you don't remember the conversation. Okay, yes. let's do something. Let's do something. I like it, man. And it's actually what I'm expecting. Okay, is is be honest. Okay, so I'm going to play we it very quickly. In the past year, and we feel we need to address the diversity in the team. How do you mean address the diversity? Well, we all know that diversity in teams is a good thing, but it can also be a challenge for some people to respect and value people's differences. We've got a really diverse team here. People of different nationalities, backgrounds, religions, ages, and sometimes I don't feel we make the most of this. Yes, and even if it isn't specifically challenging, many people are simply unaware of the isolation that some team members may feel because they are different. So what does this mean? What are we going to do? Well, we need to create a workplace charter. You know, one that promotes equality, diversity, and inclusion. That sounds like a good idea, but will people just see it as something the management team has created? Maybe they won't even pay attention to it. I know. That's why we're going to involve everyone in creating it. That's a good idea. We could run some workshops and get ideas from the employees about how we can create a more inclusive workplace. Exactly. 
I was thinking that before that, we could run some team building sessions so they can experience the value of diversity for themselves. Yes, I like that. Many people see diversity as something negative, often because there are different opinions or ways of doing things. Yes, I know. But if there's no diversity, then the risk is that we all work in the same way, think the same and see the world the same. This makes it hard to be creative and to innovate. I completely agree, Nina. Okay, so what do you want us to do? Stefano, can you look for a successful trainer who specializes in running workshops and team building sessions on diversity and inclusion? Sure, I'd be happy to. And Brenda, can you find a fun venue? Somewhere that is quite diverse itself. Something that's not the usual seminar-style environment. Sure, that'll be fun. And I'm going to do some further research into how other organizations are benefiting from their diversity. I can share this with the whole team. All right, here you are, my friend, uh, Johan. What do you think now about the second one? Everyone in the team respects and values everyone else. True, they go true. Do, do you think do, do you think it's true? Because if you think it's true, all right, that is why they decide to do it. They say, hey, we need to make people conscious, aware about this, so let's do something. And they start like planning, okay, what they are gonna do just to start promoting, okay, uh people's uh diversity acceptance. Okay, and they have very good ideas. I like that conversation. Okay, like it a lot. Okay, I'm going to just go on with number three. They are going to create a workplace charter to encourage diversity, equality, and inclusion. Okay, Valerie, what do you think is uh, the one here for this? Let's be careful. Mm -hmm. well, what do you think about number three? Is true or, or, or is false for you? For me, it's true. Okay, if you think it's true, let me tell you that that is completely right. Because actually, that is one of the ideas. We are going to create a workplace and encourage, make people aware about diversity, equality, and inclusion. Okay, very, very good. Next one, guys, is gonna be number four. Pay careful attention, very easy. They're gonna involve the whole team when creating the charter, okay? The question is gonna be made, okay, uh, to my friend, uh, Juana. Juana, that's true or is false? Um, to me, it's true, teacher. That is totally true, okay? The idea is everybody can be integrated, and that way it's going to be like a group, of, you know, a, a idea, okay? Excellent. Now, number five, they have already run uh, some successful worship this year, okay? I'm going to make the question to my friend, uh, uh, Laura, Laura. That's true or is false number five? Depend on the listening. Um, I think it's true. You think it's true? You think it's true, Lara? So it's false. <laughs> so sorry, I didn't hear that part. Yeah, they, they haven't done anything. They are going to do it like an, as something that is new. Okay, but they are going to just try it, try it out first, okay? Number six is Nina has already shared some positive research, okay? I'm going to make the question right now, okay, to Miguel. Miguel, true or false? Number six. What do you think, my friend Miguel? Nina has already shared some positive research, that, 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 that's, that's true or is false, Miguel? You tell me, boy. Juan Esteban, back? If you are back, Juan Esteban, please let me know. Okay, very good. Miguel, are you around, boy? 
Okay. <coughs> yeah, teacher. Tell me, my friend, what do you think is number six? Is is maybe true or, or is false for you? Hey, uh, what teacher? Uh, can you repeat? Yeah, number six. What about true or false? Nina has already shared some positive research. That is true or is false? It's false. That is totally false. Let me see. Oh, yeah, man. That is totally, totally false. All right? So, guys, I'm going to send you uh, the next part of the listening. So, the idea is you're going to complete it, you at your house. I'm going to send it to you, and it's going to be posted on Google Classroom and on Google, uh, sorry, Google, no, a WhatsApp group. All right, so don't worry about that. Teacher is going to keep you all time updated with this. Okay, but actually what I'm going to do right now, guys, is go on with our presentation, the one that we had last class. This is very important. And remember, that one of the main important things about this level is exactly that. How many idioms I know and how to use it or use them. Good. How many phrasal? Maybe I can say different verbs, okay? That is why if you pay attention when things go wrong, okay, you can see a black cat. All the time, a black cat is associated with bad luck. So when everything is going to go wrong, maybe that day, a black cat cross in front of you, okay? Maybe that day you have an accident on a car. Maybe walking in the park with the dog, someone is going to hit you with a ball exactly in your face or on your face. Or maybe your new iPhone, you didn't pay attention and just, you know, fell straight into the toilet. Or maybe you didn't pay attention and you step on a dog shed maybe in the park. <laughs> All right. So if any of these things happen to you, okay, that is... That is just to have a bad day, okay? So maybe things are going wrong, okay? Guys, I'm going to just show you one. What about this one? This happened to many people. Uh, when you have something that is very, very old and maybe start working not so properly. I mean, it's old. Do you remember, Kevin, what is the idiom that people use when maybe your telephone or your smartphone is so old and very slow, you know? There's a word that American people or British people use to describe something that is working terribly. Do you remember, Kevin, what is that one? Uh, I don't think so. Sorry. Don't worry. Teacher is, is just trying to, to make you recall. I'm, I'm trying to make you recall about previous information, but don't worry, man. Okay, don't worry. I'm going to ask to my friend, uh, uh, Miguel. Miguel, tell me, man, do you remember when teacher explained this picture few classes ago and say, man, you know, I was using your car, but your car is in the middle of the road, man, broken down. So sorry, man. And you say, you should buy a new car, man. Let me tell you that a car is, is your grandfather's car, man, when he was a kid. Okay. Don't you think it's about the time to change this? Do you remember what is the despective word that is used uh, here? Uh, Miguel. Look at the car. It's not working. Look at the car. It's not going anywhere. Okay? It's because that car is a what? In Spanish, we have a good one. Chatarra. It's una chatarra. Okay? So what about in English? What is a very good <clears throat> idiom that expresses that? Okay? I'm going to ask to my friend Valerie Gutierrez. Valerie, what do you think? Do you remember what is that word that describes the situation well? All right. People are thinking. Do you remember, Valerie? I'm going to give you a clue. I'm going to give you a clue, Valerie. It got a, or is related to, to, to a fruit. 
It's too evident. Look at the car. It's got that shape. I mean, the fruit shape. What is that idiom, guys? I can see you don't remember it. Can't believe it. All right. Laura Lasprilla, Laura. What about this word? What about when a cell phone or a car or a computer is working terribly? And that's just because it's very old. Do you remember what is the idiom that is used to describe things like that? Baby Laura, yes or no? Or oh, you forgot it? Uh, I think I forgot it, teacher. <laughs> All right, guys, keep an eye on the readings. That is why we are learning new expression. So this one is a lemon. It's a fruit. That is why I tell Valerie, I'm going to give you a clue. It's a fruit. And actually, the cars got the fruit shape. If you see the car, it's a lemon. A lemon with wheels. But it's a lemon, <laughs> all right? So when you say in English lemon, it's because actually, guys, we are talking about something that is very old, that is not working well, and maybe something that you should start seriously thinking about to change, all right? It's a lemon, okay? What is a lemon? My cell phone It's a lemon, teacher. It's all and doesn't work very well, okay? Very good. So remember, something that is worthless, I, I, maybe something that is cheap, that, that doesn't cost, is something that people is not going to buy you. <laughs> no hell. All right, so maybe it's a lemon. And don't forget that it sounds like a good deal at the time, but this car he sold me is a total lemon. I mean, this car is not working. I, I need to buy another new one. Okay, very good, guys. Listen, because teacher is going to ask the next one. And the next one is this one. Very good. Look at the picture. I love, guys, because this picture are chosen. And the intention is to provide you, give you a very clear idea about the idiom that you are learning. And that is why I tell you, focus on what about this one? What about this one? I'm going to show it to you first, okay? And it's to be out of the good. To be out of the good. For example, if you see a tiger, is just appearing. And to be out of the good, okay, is, is what is happening, okay? That guy is the hunter, okay? Is the hunter, the person who is supposed to kill the tiger. But, hey, what is the expression? The expression is... Out of the goods, out of the goods. And it's a very good expression. Teacher, what is to be out of the woods? Okay, that is actually what I'm gonna ask you. Okay, what is to be out of the woods? Okay, I'm gonna start asking this one. Juana, thanks for coming back. I was a little bit concerned. Maybe it was your internet connection? Maybe, but it's good to have you back. Okay, very good, Juana, excellent. I'm going to ask right now, okay, to uh, my friend, Kevin. Kevin, uh, what is for you to be out of the woods? Teacher explained this one some days ago, all right? But I'm going to retake them again, okay? That way, maybe I'm going to let you refresh your mind and remember it. Uh, what is to be out of the woods? Mm, I well, if I'm not wrong, I think it was when you you want to say to a person to that you're not gonna hurt them uh, or something like that. Yeah, kinda, 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 kinda. You've got the idea, okay? Let's see uh, this one. I like it. No longer in danger. Okay, I'm not gonna. I'm not going to kill you, tiger, little tiger, just come up, you know, and, and, and he's, man, don't worry, you are out of the goods, my intention today is not to kill the tiger, I mean, no you, I'm going to kill a bird, I'm going to kill other animals, but I'm not going to kill a tiger, okay, so to be out of the goods is when finally you know that you are not in danger anymore. Okay, I mean, uh, uh, 
Uh, when you say out of the good, it's totally, uh, or the tendency is to be negative. For example, man, you know, stay in hospital, man. No, I want to be at home. I'm, I want to go back to work. Say, man, it's, it's not good. You have been very sick. You had two operations, I mean, two surgeries, and doctors are recommending you to stay at least one more month resting at home. So, man, you are not out of the good yet. When I say you are not out of the good yet, is danger uh, is not disappearing totally. You know, maybe you are out of the goods now, but pay attention. All right, so when you say out of the good, is her certainly went as well as he could have hoped, but she's not out of the goods yet. I mean, as you know, guys, there are many people that after having an accident, uh, they can be in hospital for one, two, even three months. And after three months, being in a hospital, uh, taken care by doctors, they die. Okay, so that means that our body is very sensitive. I mean, you are okay today and maybe tomorrow you can be dying from a disease, you know, and that is why so many times we don't have to be so confident. Pay more attention because so many times danger is not or hasn't disappeared totally, okay? So maybe sometimes I'm out of the goods or maybe sometimes I'm not out of the goods yet okay very good kevin so you had the idea man that's why i accept it okay i'm gonna show you another i'm gonna show you another and i'm gonna refresh your mind okay with this what is this one is to get up on the wrong side of the bed and i love it guys because our life is not perfect there are shiny, beautiful, clear, uh, bright days, but there are others that, my gosh, we don't want to talk about. Okay, I'm going to ask this, okay, to uh, Juana Toro. Juana, what does the expression get up on the wrong side of the bed mean for you? What is that, Juana? To get up on the wrong side of the bed. What does it mean for you? If someone say, no, Juana, you know, I got up on the wrong side of the bed today. Don't talk to me. <laughs> okay, Juana, what do you infer that happened maybe to the person? All right, in the meantime, I'm going to go and talk to Laura. Laura. Don't talk to me, Laura. I got up on the wrong side of the bed. Okay, Laura, what about if I tell you something like that? Or really, you're going to be like, what? Okay, no problem. But if I tell you that I got up on the wrong side of the bed, what do you infer? What do you think I'm telling you? Uh, maybe that you're not having a good day and that you're feeling That's upset, angry. That's correct. And that is excellent, okay? Is when you start your day in a very irritable mood for no apparent reason, you know? So you are angry, but there's no a reason. I, maybe you just, oh, you know, woke up, hi, honey. Your mother and you say, say, wow, honey, what's the problem? You maybe get up on the wrong side of the bed today Mom, I don't want to talk to you, please. Give me some privacy. Okay. That is why our parents sometimes, they are crazy when they are trying to understand us, <laughs> you know, because they say, what is your problem? You know, and that is why sometimes when we are teenagers, okay, we are like that, okay? Our uh, mood or our um, feelings uh, sometimes change. Okay, uh, from one moment to the other, and sometimes that make us behave sometimes in, in a very weird way. I think the same happened to everybody. All of us, okay, experience that uh, time in our life. Okay, very good. So get up on the wrong side of the bed. Hey, keep distance. Don't talk to the person. That guy is uh, grumpy. Or when you say in English, moody. Moody is uh, 
grumpy or, or angry, but angry is for babies. That is a very easy word. Okay, very good. So, look, I think my boss got up on the wrong side of the bed. Okay, at this morning, he's grumpy. Ah, look at the word. Grumpy all day. We don't know why, but hey, if you are going to ask the boss for a favor, that's not today. Okay, keep out of the office, man. That guy is terrible today. And maybe that is, he, maybe, I don't know. He got up on the wrong side of the bed. Okay, very good, guys. I'm going to move it on. Look at this one. Look at this one. I love this one. And I'm going to show it to you. It's out of on a limb. And I love it. Out of on a limb. When you say out of on a limb, okay, is to do something or say something that is different from what most people do or say and is therefore risky. For example, talking about diversity is our topic today, diversity. If we are talking about diversity so many times, if I express what I think very openly before other people, maybe that is going to cause me a problem. I'm going to be rejected. I'm going to be isolated. Uh, I'm going to be apart from the group. And just because I think, hey, you know, gays have the same rights. And everybody look at you like, what? No. And maybe just because you say that, you're going to be out of on a limb. And when you are out of on a limb, it's because you are in a very risky, hard position just because you say. And that is why so many times, okay, our uh, parents say, hey, don't say that in front of others. If you are in a meeting, I'm going to recommend you three things. Number one, don't talk about sex. Please, I mean, respect everybody. Don't talk about politics. Please don't do that. And please don't forget, don't talk about religion either. Okay, so many times when we talk about sexuality, when we talk about po political issues, or we talk about that other thing that is um, uh, religion, maybe people think very diverse. Okay, so it's maybe diversity here, something that we need. And sometimes when we express our thoughts, maybe that cause us to be in risky positions, okay? So many times when that happens, say, I don't know, man, but you know, today in the meeting, I said a very, very terrible, you know, joke about gays, and I forgot that my boss is gay. Man, I don't know, but I'm in problems right now. My boss uh, hasn't talked to me for the entire day, you know, and now I think I am out of on a limb. To be out of on a limb is I am in problems, okay? Why? Because I decide to express something that I shouldn't, or maybe the way, as I said, it was not so proper, and that caused me to be in the problem that I'm right away, okay? Very good, guys. Excellent. So please don't forget it. She's going out on a limb and criticizing her own party uh, leadership. Okay, I mean, if you belong to a group and you start criticizing your own group, believe me, that is going to make you be out of on a limb with the rest of the group. Okay, so if you belong to a group, it's because you think like the group, because you behave like the group, and because obviously you support the group. Okay, good. Next one. I love this one. Eating someone. Eating someone. Don't think that we are talking about a, a cannibal, you know, no, or human, no. no, 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 we are not talking about that. Okay, this is a new expression. So I'm going to ask uh, this one. Miguel, are you back? Are, 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 you, are you there? Yes? Yes, teacher. Excellent. Tell me something. Uh, uh, what is for you eating something? For example, what about if you talk to me and, and, and you can't see me, okay? Uh, like, 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 like weird and say, hey, what happened to you, teacher? Say, no, man, no, Miguel, it's nothing. But you look at me like all day. Miguel, when you say eating someone, what do you think is the idea when we use this expression? 
eating so nah, nah, nah. I don't know how to eat churros. All right, don't worry, guys. That is why you are here, man, because you need to learn these expressions. Okay, I'm gonna go on maybe. Fernay, Fernay, welcome back, my friend. Okay, Fernay, what about if I tell you, Fernay? I don't know, man, I, I feel terrible. Something is eating me. If I tell you that something, Fernay, is eating me, what do you think I mean? Hi, teacher. Uh, I think uh, someone is angry, but I don't sure. All right, very good. I'm going to move on. Guys, look at and pay attention. What is that? Is when you are not in peace. Is when something or somebody is bothering you. Is, for example, when you are thoughtful all day long and everybody say, hey, what happened to you? No, no, nothing. Hey, what happened to you? Do you have a problem? No, 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 I'm okay. You know, but obviously, when your mother and your father are talking, say, hey, honey, what, what happened to Fernay? Fernay is quiet, he's thoughtful, he's like worried. What happened, honey? I don't know. Fernay never tells what is going on with him, but I'm very sure that something is eating him. Okay, something is hitting him is that something is making Fernay feel very worried, uneasy, annoyed, or worried. Okay, so don't forget what what eats you. Um, why do you ask me that? No, 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 tell me what eats you. Okay, you know, uh, I fought with my girlfriend a few weeks ago. We have a big argument. And uh, she's not talking to me anymore. <gasps> Your girlfriend, Veronica, yes, she's not talking to me two weeks ago because we have a confrontation, an argument. Oh, man, I can understand why you've been so down the last days, man. Say, yes, I have been very sad. Yes, I can understand. That is eating you, yeah? Yes, that is eating me because I know that she's right and was my bad. All right, guys, so don't let anything eat you. That is why when you do what is right, that is why when you do what is correct, you are not going to be regret. You're not going to be feeling terribly later on. It's because every time before taking a decision, before doing something, you got to think it over and over and over so that when you finally decide to do it, you can do it so good that nothing is going to eat you because you're not going to have regrets, okay? Next class, guys, we are going to go on with this one, and I'm going to show you the rest. Next class, I'm going to focus my attention, but as I mentioned, remember, I'm going to send you the listening about diversity, and you're going to finish, okay, the activity that I just left you, As usual, I'm going to upload everything, all the materials and everything. And remember, guys, you have all your grades ready. If you took your exam, teacher is going to send you the results today, later on, on your WhatsApp group. If maybe you are not happy with the result of your exam, you can take it over. You can do it again. It's the same with the Kahoot. If you think you can do it better, you can do it again, okay? I'm not going to give you a hard time because of that. And remember, guys, the most important thing is what I'm learning is study hard, guys. I'm going to see you in our next class. And remember, next class is with Christos. Don't miss it. Guys, I love you all. Take care and spend an incredible evening. Bye-bye, guys. See ya. Miguel, Johan, my friend, Laura. See ya.